What's up guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. On the last video we did a one point perspective, so if you haven't seen it, I suggest you see that one before you move into this one. For today's video, we're gonna cover the two point perspective. The two point perspective is the best one for doing car sketches, car designs, and is the most common pretty much for almost any kind of drawing. So check it out. So last week we covered the one point perspective. One point perspective is where one of the surfaces of the object that you're drawing is facing totally perpendicular to the camera. So it's facing this way, this way, or this way. But if you're gonna do the two point perspective and most sketches and stuff that we design shows that angle because it's very rarely that we just wanna show this angle straight through. We always wanna turn it a little bit show a lot more detail on the front, on the back, and all that stuff. So for that, you need the two-point perspective. And for the two-point perspective means that you have two vanishing points and you have lines going this way and you have lines going this way. So it will change depending on the height of your object. So let's check it out on paper and then we'll go for real life examples.
let's go outside to check out some real life examples. I got a special treat for you, so I hope you enjoy it. So yesterday I took my bike for a ride and I tried to find a spot where I would find an open space. I'm too far from the ocean so I have to find the closest thing to it and this is where I found. This is a beautiful farm. I see some cows in the background. The beauty about living on the outskirts of Houston. And then um, it smells so good. The only problem is that it's 100 degrees outside. So we're gonna make this quick. I'm gonna show you the quick perspective. But the cool thing is that I got someone to come show us off his super cool car and then I'll see you guys back in the studio. So we got the GTR and I'm gonna explain to you how to do the two-point perspective because last week we did the one-point perspective which is awesome for when you're the car is like first uh, facing you perpendicular so this way or if you go this way the problem is when you go into three quarters then the two-point perspective rules start to apply so I'm gonna show you this on an overlay of how this works and I'm also gonna show you how it works at different heights I chose a good location because it's a uh, way open we're not out in the ocean but it's as close as I can get without having to drive for hours and it's just a wide open plane where you can see the horizon and you can compare the height of the horizon to where your car is going to be and how you're going to draw it so enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in a bit Same example as I did on the paper, if you check here we have the horizon line, I'm going to just trace it right across. We have two vanishing points which happen to be outside the picture, they're far out. But if you see every single line on the car on the right side goes to the right vanishing point and every line on the left side goes to the left vanishing point. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning that it's super hot today and I just found it really funny that all the cows are finding shade all under one tree. So for this example, we raised our horizon. Remember what happens when we raise it? We actually just make our view higher. This view is great for showing details on top of the car. If you have scoops on the hood or a sunroof or you want to detail more things that are over the top of the car. So remember, raise your horizon for high views, lower your horizon for low views. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I suggest you subscribe if you haven't done so. I put videos weekly with everything related to design and car design. And um, I'm gonna cover subjects from drawing, sketching, rendering, 3D, modeling, everything that you need to know as a designer. So please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next week for another video and have a good weekend. Take care.